that for the first time, we have a sensitive government that is committed, that is really focused in addressing the issues that really touch on the well-being of our farmers in this country. It is worth noting that tea, the role tea plays in our economy, is in a way that it is one of the largest uh, foreign exchange earners in this country, and for that matter, its importance cannot be overemphasized. And when we meet here today, we meet here to really reflect and see the challenges that this sector faces and how best we can be able to bring around the reforms that will go towards ensuring that we have the best of the prices for our farmers. The little experience that I've gained as the CS uh, agriculture in the last seven months, and which I would want to briefly share because this, this meeting is for the Deputy President, is that when the Kenya Kwanzaa administration uh, was coming into being, they made pledges to the people of this country. And one of the pledges that I remember was meant that was an issue of the guaranteed minimum returns of our produce. The experience I've been able to gather, and which I want really to ask the sector players to consider, is because some of the challenges that we have faced that include are not, and, are not, and that are not limited to the increased cost of production occasioned by uh, high costs of inputs also arise as a result of uh, poor governance and at the same time failure by some of the sector players to work closely together to ensure that prices are set at certain levels. I have visited the tea auction in Mombasa as a, as a, a minister, as a, the CS, and I just want to commend some of the sector players that have placed the, the minimum return on their tea at the auction at above $2.4. The others that have made it for free for all, and they can sell at any price, and that this is what is really putting